Hello guys, welcome back to Adventist Test Club. Today we are going to discuss about generating a reverse shell using MSF Vena on linear payload. Okay, so in this video tutorial, we will learn how to span the TTY reverse shells through the netcat by using a single line payload with which is also known as stages exploits that can comes in Metasploit. Basically, these are two types in terminal TTYS and PTS. TTYS are the Linux or Unix shells which is hardwired terminal on serial connections connected to a mouse or a keyboard and PTS is a pseudo TTY terminal and get the copy of terminal on network connections via SSH terminal. So let's start. Uh, I just use only a two things here. Uh, this is my attacker machine and this is my uh, thing okay uh, I use my main system as a victim okay so now let's come back so now in this I just type open a terminal I just type msf console So we are already in the message console, you can type such cmd or unix. You can see you can find more than 40 type of payloads, okay. But we will use all this in simple manner, okay. So now just type exit from here, okay. So now I want to use in the bash shell. So in order to compromise the bash shell, you can use the reverse bash payload along with the MS of Venom. So I type MS of Venom. So this is a bash. Okay, I just type reverse bash. Unix reverse bash. So here. So I just use only the CMD Unix reverse bash. I type my local uh, IP address and port and shell so it will generate the payload for me so I just copy this payload and I just come back and open and paste it and I just need to enter that's it it shows a bad file okay but I need to type netcat listening so now I need to type the same thing yeah. So once I started the reasoning, then bad file discrepator. So now we can see here connect to from my attacker missions to the victim mission. Okay, now I can type who am I? I got I config got full length of information. Everything. So now I just exit this. So I want to use a netcat shell. In order to compromise a netcat shell, you can use a reverse netcat shell. So for this, I need to type same thing reverse. I just type only reverse netcat. Then I just use here now double two double two so now let's see so it will generate a payload now so now we got here as a payload so same as it is whatever we done as a previous 
so we just need to copy this okay so uh, we need to type same as it is listening triple two so we just type yes and we copy this one okay copy this one then come back to a terminal we just type yes we just clear paste it now let's see I just type enter now we can see here we got it already a connection okay now I can type who am I we got it list we got everything CD desktop type list so it will ask terminal would like to access your files in your desktop folder I just give not allow so I'll operations not permitted so if the victim is active so it will give a pop-up for that okay that's it guys here okay with the netcat so now we have seen netcat so i just type s so now i just type uh, now we're gonna see the pearl shell so in order to compromise the pearl shell you can use a reverse pair payload along with msf uh, venom so we need to type here in the netcat place as a pair PRL pair that's it and we need to change the port that's it here you see three will and it will generate a payload now you can see so here uh, payload is generated same as it is netcat listening port is 333 and come so now you can see listening on any 333 so we just need to copy the entire of the pair code just copy then come back to here then we just need to type here so we need to paste this pair code then type enter now either we can see yeah it's connected you can type a list we see many things we got it see public type a list how many things you can got it here like i have on fake many many things we uh, you got it from here automatically you can exploit it here okay so now I would like to do uh, again one as a python shell in order to compromise a python shell you can use a reverse python so for here I just need to type only the cmd units reverse python so we are doing simple way of the work okay python so here we got the python code so same as it is sorry but i want to generate uh i forget to put i want to put in another port table four okay so I generate the triple four port. So now I generated a yell port. Now I can type netcat triple four. So I just done here. So I just need to copy the Python code. Okay. If you want to send to your victim, you can also send in base sixty four decryptor to get the access of the entire of the computer like this okay so you can see base 64 you can send entire of this one in the base 64 etc etc things once the client is inputted in their uh, command prompt you are ready to go further to attack him so i just type clear now paste it then type 
So, but I not yet installed here as any Python in my main system. So, this is the wrong way to execute it. But uh, I not yet installed here in a Python. So, let me show you. Here you need to install a Python program. So, I not yet installed the Python program. That's the wrong way to execute to show here. Okay. So, this is not a matter. If you install in the Python, you can go for that. So, now you'd like to see uh, Ruby shell. So, I just clear this. I just see what is the Ruby shell. In order to compromise the Ruby shell, we need to type in the same of MSF Linux, payload, CMDR, Unix, reverse shell, in the Python place, Ruby. That's it. And you need to change only the port with your IP address. So if you do with the, it's only the local host. If you do with the main host, it's better. Like a public IP. So I'm just using only the local IP. If you do the RAN IP, you are well and good to go through that. So we can see netcat listener. Yes, so once you do with uh, van IP, you can get a persistent attack. Okay, so you just copy, then come back, you just type here and paste it. Now you can see this was done. So now it was connected, type a list. You can type CD applications, type a list. You got many things, CD, downloads, list, who am I, IP config, I have config, you got many things here to execute it here. So now you just execute this one. Uh, now we go for netcat gapping as a traditional way. In order to compromise a command shell, you can use a netcat gapping payload along with the MSF Venom. So here we need to use MSF Venom minus P payload with the CMD Unix reverse netcat gapping. L host triple six R so now you just type S yes. So now payload size is created. Okay. Now, in order to access a bin SH shell of the target system for compromising a TTY shells, firstly, we had access of the PT terminal of the target through SSH. Okay. So we need to type here in the same thing. Okay, so we try with the same thing. Okay, we just I want to access only this one. Netcat reason my attack permission only six. Then come back, open new tab, and paste it. Then let's see. So now you can see here connected to one ninety two dot. 168.43.44 from Pentester Club everything. Okay, so now I can type who am I? It will give Pentester Club list type list minus LHA. You got every single directory from here. 
okay now i can go cd home i type cd home when desktop club type a list no cd downloads type list now i can see if i want to get okay uh, anything else so i just type get and the target file name so if you get that will be save in your directory okay so this is how you can do the reverse shell using msf enum on linear payload that's it guys thank you guys for watching have a great day